Welcome to our SLGIS Assistant YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain about preparing a map layout in ArcGIS. Before watching this video, it is essential to watch my previous lessons because most of the things have been covered from previous lessons. As examples, the most important steps such as adding layers, symbolize data, and label features have already explained from previous videos. So today I will explain only about preparing the map layout. This is the ArcMap document that I have prepared by applying suitable symbols and applying labels properly. We have done all the editing parts in data view. Now we can change the view to layout view from clicking layout button. Then all the marginal information of the map could be able to manage from this window. First, we should set the paper size of this map by clicking file page and printer setup here I am going to choose A3 size for this map document then select A3 size under the standard size drop down list then click OK now the map document is prepared to A3 size now we can change the size of data frame with respect to paper size by dragging commas Now I am going to apply a suitable scale for this map by considering the area. First click zoom to whole page. Now I am going to fix the scale into 1 into 205,000. Now the map is fixed to the entire page. Next I am going to add the title for this map because it is the most important information about this map click insert button then go to title then right click on this then right click on this text box then go to properties in here I am going to type the title as district map then I can change the symbols from clicking change symbol tab I am going to change the colors and size of the heading Under format text, I am going to change the sentence case as all caps, then go to mask, then I am going to apply a hello for this, then click ok, ok, now we can apply ok, now again right click on this text box, then go to align and click align to margins. Then again click on this text, then go to align and click align center. Now the title of the map has been placed in a suitable place. So we can insert a north arrow for this map by clicking insert, north arrow. You can select any symbol from this north arrow selector. I am going to select this north arrow then click OK. Now you can position this north arrow in appropriate place of your map. After that, we should add a legend for this map because the symbolized features should be understand to the user. Click insert, then click on legend.
in this dialog box you can select the layers that you want in legend I'm going to select this tourist then click next arrow and uh, transport layer and click next arrow then uh, visual polygons then click next arrow then click on next you can change the legend title here and change the colors and sizes of the legend you are able to apply a border for the legend from here then click next now you can finish the legend now you can change the properties of the legend by right click on this legend then go to properties then click on layout then click on items now select all the layers that you have included in the legend then go to styles I'm going to select this option then click OK and I'm going to tick on only show classes that are visible in the current map extend and I'm going to tick on place items in a new column then click apply and OK Now the legend is appear as here. Now we can change the position of the legend and north arrow appropriately. Now I'm going to insert a scale bar by clicking insert then click on scale bar I'm going to select this option and click OK Now the scale bar is appearing miles you can change this units by right click on the scale bar then go to properties you can change the division units from here. Click on drop down list. I'm going to choose kilometers, then click at apply. Okay. You can locate this scale bar in suitable place of this map. Now we have already added essential modular information for this map but if you want to add other text click on insert then go to dynamic text here you can see many text types are available from this option I am going to choose coordinate system that I have used for this map then click on coordinate system Now the coordinate system information can be appear from this dialog box. You can change the location of this dialog box. And also I am going to insert a dynamic text as author. Grab it here for appropriate place. Then again, I'm click on insert dynamic text and the date saved. Drag it also. Now I'm going to change the author by right click on this author and then go to properties here I am type as it is celgr is assistant then 
then click apply ok now you can group the author and date saved and change the location as appropriately we have prepared the map document then we should export this map into pdf format click on file then click on export map then you can change the name of the map and also you can select the type as pdf jpeg or otherwise i'm going to choose pdf size and you can change the resolution into 600 or 300 or then click save now we can preview our map document now you are able to prepare map layout with all the marginal information the other modifications of this map layout will be explained in my next video please give us your comments regarding this video and don't forget to subscribe us Oh, 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 oh,